summer is already in the air. One of the best destinations to spend summer is the beach. We all love the beach. To relax, swim, snorkel, and have fun. But having fun doesn't mean we should ignore safety. Best advice is, know before you go. Check the weather before going. Consult the locals or assign lifeguards on the water behavior in the locality. Look for any warning signs. Most of all, swim with a buddy. Avoid swimming alone. And now you're good to go, but wait a minute. Before splashing in the water, you need to know this very important life-saving information. And now, welcome to Gulfport's channel, and I present to you the three dangerous water phenomena for swimmers. And I'm sure, this will save a life. Number 3. Cross Sea or Sea Square It is formed when waves collide from various angles and form squares in the ocean. It looks harmless in retrospect, yet, underwater, there are potent currents that are capable of capsizing and tossing large ships up into the air. Cross seas too produce exceedingly dangerous riptides, so make certain that you are not anywhere near the water when this natural phenomena occurs. This phenomenon is common in the Isle of Ré, a small island off the west coast of France. How to escape if caught in a sea square? Number one, immediately get out of the water. If the current is strong, stay calm and don't fight the current. Escape the current by swimming in a direction following the shoreline. When free of the current, swim at an angle away from the current and towards the shore. If you can't escape, float in the water to conserve energy. If at any time you feel you will be unable to reach shore, draw attention to yourself. Face the shore, call or wave for help. Number 2. Whirlpool is a body of swirling water formed when two opposing currents met. Whirlpools may form whenever water is flowing from creeks and streams to rivers and seas. Any whirlpool that contains a downdraft or one capable of sucking objects beneath the water surface is called a vortex. Whirlpools also form at the base of waterfalls and man-made structures such as dams. Small boats and swimmers must use caution around whirlpools. As with any other current, the moving water can overpower a swimmer and pull him beneath the water, causing drowning. If caught in a whirlpool, you must be calm. Do not panic. Dive deep where it takes you. You can escape from there as there it has least strength at its center. Stay underwater for some time. The whirlpool will no longer be there for so long. That's when you can come out and swim to the shore. And the last but not the least is the rip current. It is a strong, localized, and narrow current of water which moves directly away from the shore. It cuts through the lines of breaking waves like a river running out to sea and is strongest near the surface of the water. Rip currents or rips can be hazardous to people in the water. Swimmers who are caught in a rip current and who do not understand what is going on and who may not have the necessary water skills may panic or exhaust themselves by trying to swim directly against the flow of water. Because of these factors, rips are the leading cause of rescues by lifeguards at beaches and rips are the cause of an average of 46 deaths by drowning per year in the United States. If caught in a rip current, here's a short video presentation on how to escape a rip current. Please watch. For 80% of beach rescues and can be dangerous or deadly if you don't know what to do. It's simple stuff, but we can't take it for granted. Know before you go. Check local beach forecasts before you head to the beach and always swim near lifeguards. Look for any warning signs or flags. If you're unsure about conditions, ask a lifeguard and know how to swim before you venture in. If you do happen to be caught in a rip current, stay calm. It won't pull you under. It'll just pull you away from shore. If you try to fight the rip current and swim against it, you'll just get worn out. Instead, 
float. If you're a good swimmer, swim parallel to shore until you've cleared the pool of the rip current. Swim with the waves, allowing them to push you to shore. If you can, wave and yell help! to get the attention of lifeguards and people on shore to let them know you need help. help. If you're on shore and see someone in trouble in a rip current, do not go in after them. Instead, help. call for help. If a lifeguard is not available, throw in something that floats. But don't try to be a hero and make the rescue yourself. Even trained lifeguards only attempt a rescue using a flotation device. Rip currents can be dangerous, but if you know your options, survey your situation, and stay calm, you can stay safe and continue to have fun in the surf, sand, and sun.